Hey, 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 welcome. If you are new here, welcome back. If you have been here before and thank you for coming back. I am Freya, this is Budgie Budgets and it's Wednesday and on Wednesdays we cast off. Um, so first we're doing our new little game question thingy. Um, I don't know, I just thought it would be funny. <laughs> Um, or a little bit interesting to get to know each other a little bit. So I am going to answer, I think each card has a few questions on it. I'm just going to answer one. And then if you guys want to answer down in the comments as well, that would be super cool. Um, what is the best TV show of all time? Oh my goodness. Um, that is tricky. I think the best TV show of all time for me personally is Grey's Anatomy. I'm obsessed. I'm low-key obsessed. I'm still obsessed. Like, it's getting tired now. It's been running. I've been watching that show since I was, like, 16 years old. Um, and I have rewatched it quite a few times. And I'm, I cannot wait until my daughter, it's, like, this close, my oldest daughter, this close, I reckon, um, for it to be a good watch for her as well. So I will absolutely relish in rewatching it with her again. Um it's just great. They're solid characters. It's usually pretty good story development. They're usually well in front of the times in approaching like issues. Um, and I just love it. It's my comfort show. I like, yeah, hubby knows, like I'm usually a bright and sparkly person. For anyone who's a Grey's fan, you'll know the terms bright and sparkly, juju, dark and twisty. <laughs> All these things are regular uh, terms in my vocabulary. So having said that, I am also a massive uh, friends fan um, although sometimes that can be a little bit problematic watching it back with my kids and explaining that that was a little bit of a different time um, but yeah um, I do I do love a good friends rewatch okay so let me know down below what's your favorite show and what's your comfort do you have like a comfort show although I am aware that's a very um, that can be a very neurosparkly thing or people who struggle with anxiety often have a comfort show um, or shows, plural. Having said that, I am also watching New Girl for the first time and loving it. So good. Uh, if you have not already watched, highly recommend. I do. I don't know. There's a lot of shows that I love. I do also love The Office. Um, I can't wait. There's an Australian version coming out soon and hopefully, apparently it's going to be really, very good. So I'm really looking forward to that. But anyway, yeah, let me know down below in the comments. What's your favorite show? Do you have a comfort show? Um, yeah. Okay, let's see what we have got to play with today. It's a little bit extra because we've got a golden paycheck, which is always exciting. Um, I think I have spread this out pretty well across the things. We've got a tiny bit extra to put into savings challenges, but nothing massive. Um, mostly focusing on boosting up categories that needed it. So we have... 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 80, so 280, uh, 290, 300, 350, 360, 70, 80, 90, 400, 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 500, 510, 520, 30, 40, 50, 60, so 560, 570, 580, 590, 600, 610, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. So we have 690 altogether that we have to allocate today. Let's see where we can find homes for this. I hope it's not too dark. It's a little bit overcast outside today. Um, but I didn't want to turn the overhead lights on if I didn't need to because it gets all glary. Uh, so in this, we have 200, 220, 240, 250, 255 in subscriptions now. So just a 10 going in there. Um, and look, this tracker is all kinds of wrong at this point. I, do you know what? I'm actually going to leave it out so I can fix it up because that's a bit of a mess because I've moved subscriptions into the, like into my business. That one's just, yeah, all over the shop, but that's okay. All right, water's getting its regular 20, so that has 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 in there. It is feeling a little bit dark now. Let me just check. Mm. It doesn't look too bad, but maybe I'll just add a tiny bit of it.
Okay, hopefully that's a little bit better. I haven't got it shining directly down, so at least it shouldn't have be like too glary. Okay, um, electricity is getting 40. So I'm alternating this now, it gets 50 one week, 40 the other week. Um, just because we have that $75 bonus from the government. So that now has 200, 220, 240, and 260 in there. So our electricity bill's been a little bit lower. Uh, gas is getting 15. So we have in here 200, 250, 270, 290. We have not had our heater on as much, so I am hoping our next gas bill isn't too bad. Phone's getting 30. So that has 20, 40, 60, and 70. Uh, I think home is getting skipped. And security is getting skipped because we actually have a fair bit in there now. And I think so all the rest of these. Awesome. I can't wait for a cash stuffing where I can like put something in every single envelope. That would be so cool. <laughs> um, okay, so car insurance is getting, it's 30. I am going to try and be just absolutely consistent with this one because this is the bill that gets me every year. Every single year, I just about fall off my chair when it comes in. Uh, so 120, 40, 50 in there now. I did just condense these, but I might even do an extra little condensing before I do end of month, just so I'm getting as much as I can back into the bank. 20 for car registration, so that has 220 in there now. Car service uh, is getting, not 20, it's getting 10. So all of these are all kind of getting their usual amounts for the most part, um, because I have worked out how much they should get weekly, not monthly. Um, so even when it's a golden paycheck, I still need these guys to get the same love they always get. Where a golden paycheck puts us in front is because my, uh, I don't think I need to color one off actually, one, two, three, four, I don't. So that's got 60 in there now. Did I count up how much was in service? I don't think I did. How much is in there now? 100, 150, 170, whoops, 185, nice. Um, yeah, our regular direct debit bills, so like rent, internet, all that sort of stuff, um, that's taken care of in our monthly bill cycle. Um, I don't do those as weekly payments. So then we can use that money that comes out of our regular paychecks in savings challenges and cash envelopes. Uh, license is just getting five, so there's 155 in there now have decided which savings challenge I'm going to alloc allocate to fill this up and if that's not quite enough I'll use a mini Monday as well just to make sure it's where it needs to be in time okay clothes is just getting a 10 I do need to sorry I'm just going to bend that down a little bit so it tries to stay open for me um, I do need to this building back up a bit because I feel like my son is having another growth spurt. Oh, she's just getting skipped. There's already a fair bit in there. Hair is getting 10. Oh, I'm going to make these icons 10s, not 15s. I don't know why I made it 15. I forgot to put that marker away. Beautiful. Skincare is also getting 10. I do need to unstuff some money from that at the end of this week. I went and bought some new face wash for my daughter. I do need to add another envelope in here, I think, um, for like other hygiene stuff. 
that's not necessarily skincare. Um, I think that will be on the agenda. Uh, Gibbs is also getting 10. So there's 60 in there now, which is good. I'm happy to see that coming up to a good amount. My, my youngest has just been invited to a birthday party, but it's kind of, I'm not really sure what the etiquette is. Like I assume I have to get a present if she goes, but it's not for her friend. It's for her friend's sibling. So she's being invited for like basically to entertain the older sibling um, so that he doesn't cause havoc through the party, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm not really sure what like the etiquette on that is. Okay, that's everything in there. Um, yeah. And in here, doctors is getting skipped, but medications is getting 10. I do need to buy some of my ones again really soon, which sucks. Because we'll probably empty this envelope. Ah, uh, that's too. Don't mind the massive thumping you can hear. I'm, all of my kids are home, so I <laughs> think that's my two youngest chasing each other down the hallway. Uh, 10.25 in that one. Whoops. Um, ambulance is getting a five. This is adding up nicely, so I need $100 in here by June next year. And that's for our Ambrose insurance. We do get some ambulance insurance with our health insurance, but it's limited. So 10, uh, 2035. I don't think that it's obvious, but I do. I am in a little bit of a um, health flare at the moment. So I do have a tremor going on in my hands so apologies if you notice it and or it's annoying um it's annoying me but i'm hoping it's not all that noticeable on camera <laughs> um okay so dental has 200 300 350 360 and we're starting that tracker all over again um uh, i think that's everything for in here we are exactly halfway through school holidays here. I've actually managed not really to spend much money. Um, so my son went to the movies with his friends, but I made it part of the deal that that's, you know, that has to be part of what their pocket money is for. If they want to be going out on adventures with their friends and stuff, they have to have budgeted for it. Um, because otherwise they just want to go out all the time. I think it's important for them to understand how much money these things cost. Um, and he did go out with his friends. Uh, school expenses is getting a 10. He did go out with his friends yesterday to the movies um, and loved it, but he came home and he was like, oh my goodness, that took up like all of my money. He's like, it was so expensive. I was like, see, this is why we don't go to the movies all the time because it's so expensive when there's five of us. Uh, so school has 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Um, and I think he's kind of kicking himself now because he's trying to save up for uh, this cool watch that he wants. Um, so obviously that's put a big dent in his ability to save for that. Um, so, but it's a good lesson for him. It's a good lesson for him to know that, you know, you have to budget your money if you want to do things. Um, and then my daughter's gone out to the pool today with her friends, my oldest. Uh, so this now has 100, 200, 210, 220. Um... Yeah, which is nice, but again, she's using her own pocket money. So we haven't we haven't actually really done much that's expensive um, in terms of my budget. Like the kids have been spending their money, which is awesome. Um, it probably means they'll come crying to me that they need to top up in their pocket money again. <laughs> oh dear. But I did give them that $5 a week raise in this month whoops that wasn't very good was it oh, oh my goodness now i've got all over my fingers whoopsie daisies uh so 20 dollars going into swimming so there's 70 in there now which is good uh because they're definitely going to need some new gear soon probably all three of them to be honest so that's probably not going to be enough um school books is also getting 20 we're going to start trying to really 
kick this up a notch because $100 is not going to cover how much their books are going to cost at the end of the year, I'm sure. Does your school make you do that too? Like order them in November, December for the following year? It annoys me. Um, so 120 35 in there. We probably need like, I don't know, somewhere in the realm of five to $800, I'll bet. Although hopefully nobody needs like a graphics calculator or anything. Um, this year, last year, my oldest needed a graphics calculator and my middle child needed a laptop. So that really put a dent in our, <laughs> in our funds. Um, sorry, brain melt. Uh, school photos is being skipped, but school tech is getting 40. I should have put an extra 20 in here, shouldn't I? Oh, well. Uh, because that brings us up to almost a thousand. So that has 500, 6, 700, 8, 900, and 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh, I'm pretty tempted to move some money from school expenses into there. So it's an even thousand. I'll think about it. I might do that. School holidays, we're still kind of trying to build this up ready for um, next holidays as well, because that will be the big one. Um, but this may get spent yet, because I think we might take the kids to like the driving movies. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 130, 140, 150 in there now. That's a good amount. Um, I want a lot more than that for the end of year holidays though, because obviously with Christmas and everything, everything just kind of gets a little bit crazy and expensive. <laughs> you guys all know, I know you know. All right, Pets Binder, let's see. Vet is getting 10. Oh, motorbike up my street. So we have 200, 220, 240, 250, 255. I really need to take my, my dogs in for their annual checkup. Um, they've been so good though, like there's nothing really wrong with them. So um, pretty healthy at this point, I hope. They get nervous about my oldest dog because she's my baby and I will just be lost when um, she departs the earthly plane. Uh, so Puppaments has 20 in there. And for Lee and Wen is getting its 10. So that now has 120, 130, 140 in there. Um, Toys and Treats is just getting a five. Um, my, oh, my younger dog, whose name is Snitzel, um, he has this toy, this little itty bitty pig that I bought for him a while ago. And he has carried it around like a lovey, like he's obsessed with it, just loves it to bits. And he's so, he's been so, so gentle with it. Um, it's lasted for ages. And then all of a sudden last night, we're sitting on the couch and we hear this, rip like just these really really um almost manufactured sounding like rip and he had a rip he's like ripped his face off like his nose i can't believe it <laughs> absolutely devastated because he loves it so much um and yeah oh unbelievable he's so naughty that one but yeah, I mean, he usually destroys toys really, really quickly. We have to buy like the super tough toys so that he doesn't just shred them. Um, but this one he had really taken care of. So I don't know what happened that all of a sudden he was like, no, I'm going to eat you. 20, 40, 65. Um, I mean, clearly I'm more gutted about it than he is. He really doesn't seem to care. <laughs> oh dear. Oops. Oh my goodness. Freya, what are you doing? All right, just 20. Oh, my God, I didn't even tell you guys. Just 20 going into family fun. Um, that will probably get spent a little bit this week too. Although I'm impressed we haven't spent anything from it so far. Okay, so Father's Day, we are going to start off with a five for next year. And 
Halloween is also getting a five. This will basically be for like, if the kids wanna buy pumpkins to carve, we've done carving pumpkins the last few years, um, which is so fun, so messy. Oh my goodness, so messy, but so fun. Um, and then we put candles in them and put them out the front. Uh, Valentine's Day is also getting five. I'm not really sure about how I'm doing this, if I'm honest. I'm wondering if I should like give it all to the one that's next and then snowball it down or whether this is the better way to do it. I'm really not sure. Uh, 15 in Valentine's Day. Not that, I mean, like we're not particularly big on Halloween or Valentine's to be honest, um, or Easter really. <laughs> like, I'm not that phased about it. Um, Christmas is a big one, but, um, yeah. And Mother's Day is getting a five as well. So that rounds out all of our events. And then we have, we do have $70 going into Christmas, but I might, I might do that as part of my savings challenge video because that feels kind of more savings challenge-y then <laughs> um then cash stuffy i think yeah i think we'll do that all right so birthdays give me one minute you guys okay sorry i had to had to password my daughter's ipad so she could update minecraft um okay so birthdays and what are we up to here we're up to a pink pink little balloon Cutie cute. Okay, so this has 100, 150, 170, 190, 195. Awesome. And five for this one as well. And this is up to a little green balloon. I'm loving this tracker. So cute. I haven't actually got it up in the store yet, but if you do want it, just order colorful trackers and say the colorful birthday one and I'll know what you mean. A few people have ordered them already, even though I've not got around to actually doing the listing. It's just listings take a long time. Um, and I'm busy making sure I'm getting orders out in time. <laughs> uh, so 20, 25, 30. Awesome. And then Puppy has seen something that he actually thinks he wants. It's like a workout home gym thing uh, for his birthday, which means I probably need to start putting a bit more money aside for his birthday. Whoops. So he's getting a 10, so that's 20, 30, 40 in there now. Um, he's actually our next birthday coming up in December. And 10 for mine as well. Whoops. Awesome. And then party is also getting a 10. Whoops, missed. Oh my goodness. So there's 20 in there now. I can't remember whose party I'm saving up for. I think my youngest is the next one due for a birthday party. Uh, and 20 going into our anniversary. So I can color off a whole one of these. We have no money in here and it's our anniversary in December. So that's not great, is it? Whoops. <laughs> okay, so 30 in there. We did already buy ourselves tickets to go and see Hosea in November though. So um, yeah. Yeah, no. Okay, so what we should have left is 140, I think. 70 for Christmas, 70 for saving challenges. So 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. Perfect. All right, you guys, we will get that into savings challenges on Friday. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. I feel like I've been a little bit flat today. <laughs> it is just because I'm, I am in a little bit of a flare. So um, yeah, my energy is just a little bit lower than usual. Um, but thank you for sticking with me and I will see you on Friday for our savings games. That will pep me up. I'm always get pepped up by savings games. <laughs> okay, I love you. Bye-bye.